Be useful. I'll keep this for later. Silver Crown Mountain. I'm getting closer. Someone's over there. I have to get to them. Someone must be around. Hello? Jonah? Miguel? Can you hear me? Where are you? I didn't know the storm would hit so hard. This is all my fault. I should have listened to Jonah, thought it through. I never should have taken that dagger. I hope no one else was hurt. No other village destroyed. I need to stop these cataclysms before it's too late.
part of the plane landed here. My gear is in that cargo. I'll need to cut it down. I need something to cut that down. Might be a sharp piece of scrap in that section of the wreck. won't be able to open that without a tool. but it's dull. I need to find something to sharpen it. Exactly what I was looking for. Just need a bit more. Got everything I need. Should head back to camp. That should be sharp enough. <laughs> Something's still holding the supplies up.
Now I can get my gear back. Why didn't I pack all my equipment together? Miss Croft? Anyone? Come in! Miguel? Where are you? Damn! this. Miguel? Where are you? Oh no. <sighs> Miguel? 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 Be careful here.
that's part of the wreckage. Jonah! You know what happened to Miguel? He didn't make it. What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. You sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Jonah. I, I, I'm with you. It's my choice most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? Uh, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kawakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. If you were out there, I wanted you to be able to find me. I had a flare gun. Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... Poor guy. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Got my answer. <laughs> we can get through here. Give me a hand. Do you really believe in all that, that stuff that you said about the cataclysms? The apocalypse? I believe that if it is true, it's important enough to die. You sure this is a path? Come on, stay close to me. 
This is definitely not a path. Oh. 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 God. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. Oh, gotcha. You all right? I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You're all right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Who do you think built all this? It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. The bridge is down. Maybe we can lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. I hope that this structure is here because we're on our way to that village. Me too. I bet this water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh... It's too heavy. Give me a hand. Okay, let's let it go, slowly. <laughs> to get the water flowing. Hey, that did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. Water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Ugh, the bucket's leaking. Okay, Jonah, you can let go. Let's see. Let's get across. <laughs> uh, 
Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. <clears throat> These are different from the ruins <clears throat> in Mexico. Do your dad's notebooks say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But Dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest, or... I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. The passageway. That's promising. Remind me how the riddle goes again. Chase the heart of the serpent. To the silver-crowned mountain where the twins confer. I think we can get out that way. Jonah, help me with this. On three, two, one. <laughs> Are you okay? Help me with this. Your back looks bad. I'm gonna go make camp.
Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father, from himself. But I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, at the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> So many questions. Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of his shell to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, I lose everything else. No way. I like this world. It's it's not perfect, but everything I love now is in it. treasure, the adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing your best homework? The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon. Taunting. Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty.
Lara climbs out over a lake of bubbling lava. Ugh. Looks like there's something up there in the crow's nest. I'll have to do better. Brave Sir Knight, victim of the King's curse, doomed to stand vigil, warning away others from the Forbidden Tomb. But now for the real treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the King. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Ugh. The King's Guard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. is taller than she thought. <laughs> Our hero continues climbing, looking for another way in. Shoo! Go on! Ugh. Young Lara confronts the extraordinary height and danger and pushes it from her mind. Ooh. to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. <sighs> She's so close, she can almost touch it. But an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. <sighs> Our fearless adventurer has reached the summit. the way in below. She will have to be careful. Why do I do these stupid things? Chuckles, her horror does it. 
she? <laughs> She's close now. At last, she enters the Forbidden Tomb. By night, the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the white queen is lonely? This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the white queen? A Byzantine scroll. Justice is the constant and perpetual wish to render everyone his due. Emperor Justinian. This is Egyptian, an evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. The Sun King, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, ending a long-standing war between France and Spain. The poor queen, Maria Theresa died a painful death, to which the king said, this is the first trouble she has given me. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. The king and the white queen. There's something in the shields. Where are the white pieces? A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? Woman. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. Coordinates might have something to do with the globe. Coordinates might have something to do with the globe. The coordinates might have something to do with the globe.
It has taken our hero years to piece this map together, spending nights in dusty libraries going through ancient tomes. This enigmatic illustration recovered from a cursed and empty mausoleum might be what our brave adventurer needs to finally find the lost treasure of the Unlock her love's release. It worked. <laughs> Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. Yatiri, a South American healer. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. No matter where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. This looks Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? I wonder who those two dogs are. I haven't seen some need to find the White Queen. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. Need to find the White Queen. The great bat swings on bar. Shield reflects the light beam. There she is, the White Queen. Trapped. I have to help her. have to free the White Queen. Now 
I can free her. With light, unlock her love's release. Our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are Mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats! I'm not afraid of anything! Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. I wonder what the 